These are the 2011 40 Under 40 nominees. Alana M. Anzalone. Alana M. Anzalone Esquire is a litigation attorney for Anzalone Law Offices, a family firm. She is a 2000 graduate of Wyoming Seminary and in 2004 graduated from Lafayette College. Alana graduated from Penn State Dickinson School of Law in 2007. She is in practice with her father and brother representing personal injury clients. She finds balance by enjoying life outside the office through outdoor activity such as skiing, hiking, and running. She is also a yoga instructor and offers private classes. Alana is proud of her family for achieving success as leaders in their respective fields. Alana M. Anzalone Anne Bramblett Barr. Anne Bramblett Barr has been described by colleagues as energetic, vibrant, bright, motivated, dedicated, responsible, talented, a visionary. Her presence has ignited a new love for the library and has transformed it into a bona fide hub of activity. Anne has earned a bachelor's in English from James Madison University and a Master's in English Literature from the University of New Hampshire and is currently working on an MLS from Clarion University. She is enthusiastic about the new addition at the library, which will include an aquarium, observatory with telescope, and living rooftop garden. The much anticipated opening is fall of 2012. Anne Bramblett Barr. Michael Baruch. Michael Baruch received a bachelor's in business administration and an MBA from Wilkes University. He is assistant vice president of commercial banking group at PNC Bank. His level of local involvement ranges from being a volunteer at the St. Vincent de Paul soup kitchen to throwing birthday parties for children at the Macaulay House, a women's homeless shelter. Michael is a 2010 inductee to the Wilkes University Sports Hall of Fame and a 2010 chairman of the Wilkes University Business Capital Campaign. One of his key accomplishments is being recognized as a 2010 Laurel Society Award winner for the top 20 commercial lenders throughout PNC Bank. Michael Baruch. Tony Mr. Manley Bartacci. Tony Mr. Manley Bartacci is Director of Strategic Sales and Marketing for Intercom Communications Corporation. Tony is a graduate of Syracuse University in Information Technology and Communications. Mr. Manley is an entertainment reporter dishing Hollywood gossip in the afternoons on KRZ. He was the committee chairman for Rock United in a battle of the bands to benefit the United Way and competed in dancing with the NEPA stars at the Scranton Cultural Center. Aside from this, he has a newfound passion for restoring houses. These days, he says, I get excited about dirt being dropped off at my house or about a new paint color. Tony Mr. Manley Bartacci. Melanie Boisseau. Melanie Boisseau has a bachelor's in photography from the Massachusetts College of Art and Design in Boston, Massachusetts. Melanie took a leap of faith and moved to northeastern Pennsylvania where she and her partner Adam opened the New Vision Studio and Gallery in Scranton. The studio offers drawing, painting, black and white photography, welding, arts and crafts, and monthly shows. Melanie's work has been featured in many exhibitions, including the Mazart's Annual Senior Show at the Payne Gallery Massachusetts College of Art and Design in Boston. Melanie lived in Thailand for one month 
and recently climbed Machu Picchu in Peru. Melanie Boisseau. Carl Borton. Carl Borton is the director of the River Common Programming and Outreach. He attended Bentley University in Massachusetts, earning his degree in marketing with a minor in information technology. Carl will be the first to say that he is a workaholic, but he always finds time for music. He states, music is the rhythm of my life and is the one thing in this world that takes my mind off the daily grind. I use music to relax, kick back, level me, and to motivate myself to action. Some of Carl's community involvement includes Leadership Wilkes-Barre Class of 2011 and Blue Diamond's Toastmasters Public Speaking Organization. Some of his hobbies include mountain biking and hiking. Carl Borton. Anthony D. Bruno II, M.D. Anthony D. Bruno II, M.D. is a plastic and reconstructive surgeon at Geisinger Wyoming Valley Medical Center. Dr. Bruno grew up in a family of physicians and had an appreciation of the impact physicians have on their patients' lives. He attended Creighton University School of Medicine and was awarded the Most Outstanding Student in Surgery Award. His residency was completed at both Westchester County Medical Center and Creighton University affiliated hospitals. He went on to do a fellowship at Duke University Medical Center. His clinical interests are plastic and reconstructive surgery, including cosmetic surgery, body contouring, maxillofacial trauma, cancer and trauma reconstruction, breast reconstruction, and microsurgery. Anthony D. Bruno, the second MD. Mark Kalor. Mark Kalor is an associate at Daw Consulting Group. He is a graduate of Bishop Hoban High School, Fort Benning's Infantry Training Brigade, and served in the United States Army as an infantryman stationed in Fort Riley, Kansas. Mark attended Luzerne County Community College and earned an associate's degree in business management technology and the Pennsylvania State University, where he earned a bachelor's in management and marketing. His awards include the John R. Murphy Award for Excellence in Leadership and Service, Outstanding SGA Member of the Year Award, Who's Who Among Students in American Universities and Colleges, and the Defender of the Commonwealth Award, Mark Kalor. Scott Carey. Scott Carey is the Corporate Communications Director of Sundance Vacations and the founder and owner of Breaker Boy Drums and Percussion, LLC. He graduated from King's College with a degree in marketing. After winning a business plan competition through the Great Valley Technology Alliance and receiving startup capital for his company, Scott started Breaker Boy Drums, a name born from the history and roots of a coal region. Scott is a certified Google AdWords professional and is a certified HubSpot internet marketing professional as well. He created the Sundance Vacations monthly internal newsletter, The Owl. Scott Carey. Cynthia Charnetsky, OD. Cynthia Charnetsky, OD, is an optometrist for Northeastern Eye Institute. Dr. Charnetsky received a bachelor's degree in psychology from Wilkes University and a doctorate from the Pennsylvania College of Optometry in Elkins Park, Pennsylvania. Dr. Charnetsky believes the community she grew up in provides her with many opportunities on both a professional and personal level. 
She is intent on giving back. She is a member of the Alumni Board of Directors at Wilkes University, including Secretary of the Board and a member of the Executive Committee. She has represented Wilkes University alumni as a speaker at graduation in 2010. Cynthia Charnetsky, OD. Joseph Conway. Joseph Conway is a staff physical therapist for the Spine and Sports Medicine Center at John Hines Institute of Rehabilitation in Wilkes-Barre. He studied physical therapy at College Misericordia and has been in outpatient care at John Hines for the past 10 years. One patient states, he has made a difference in the quality of our lives. This testimonial identifies his strengths as a therapist and a coach, always pushing his patients to achieve their maximum potential. Joseph balances his life through stress management and separating work from home life. He takes pride in the birth of his two daughters and puts importance on making time for them. Joseph Conway Jennifer Pugh Deemer Jennifer Pugh Deemer is the Grant and Program Specialist for Blue Cross of Northeastern Pennsylvania. She is a graduate of Wyoming Valley West Senior High School and later went on to receive her undergraduate at King's College. Jennifer has a master's in communication arts from Marywood University. Jennifer says, I like to leave a footprint everywhere I go, especially when it comes to community service. She believes in giving back and does so through Leadership Wilkes-Barre's core program. She is a very active member in her parish and St. Mary's Church in Wilkes-Barre as a member of the Finance Council, a parish lector, and catechist. Jennifer and her husband William Deemer are expecting their first child. Jennifer Pugh Deemer. Joseph DeLuca. Joseph DeLuca is the Director of Federal, State, and Non-Public Programs for the Luzerne Intermediate Unit. He went to Bloomsburg University, receiving a Bachelor's in Secondary Education, and attended Marywood University in 2001 for his postgraduate studies, earning his Master's in School Counseling. In 2005, he received his Secondary Principal Certificate from Marywood. Currently, Joseph is working on his superintendent's certification and has plans to receive his doctorate in counselor education. Outside of work, Joseph volunteers as a youth sports coach. He also leads a men's program at the Pittston Area Family Center, which helps men develop better parenting skills. Joseph resides in Pittston Township with his wife Maria and three sons. Joseph DeLuca Thomas Del Vecchio Thomas Del Vecchio is the Regional Sponsorship Manager for Live Nation Entertainment. He is a graduate of Marywood University where he earned his Bachelor's in Business Administration with a focus in marketing. Thomas interned with the Philadelphia Eagles and their corporate sales department. He landed his first job with Live Nation Entertainment as a sponsorship coordinator, where his role was to serve as a liaison between Live Nation and local and national clients. Additionally, he supports their regional vice president in the training and management of their eight sponsorship coordinators throughout the Mid-Atlantic region. He credits Live Nation Entertainment with inspiring him in his career. Thomas Del Vecchio. Nicole Farber. Nicole Farber is the center coordinator for the Center of Cancer Wellness, Candy's Place. She manages staff, coordinates a large number of volunteers, promotes Candy's Place to the public, 
and raises money to keep it operating. Nicole was instrumental in developing a women's fashion show for the center and building an exercise curriculum that encompasses deep breathing yoga and Zumba. Nicole volunteered with Providing Hope Prison Ministries and at the Hope Center in Trucksville. She is a devoted mom and on the side, she has her own Christian greeting card company online and in select stores throughout the U.S., including Barnes & Noble in Wilkes-Barre. Nicole Farber. Nicole Linsky Ferentino, D.C. Nicole Linsky Ferentino, D.C. is a chiropractor and president of the Advanced Chiropractic Clinic. She graduated from the University of Scranton and New York Chiropractic College. Nicole has always been interested in the medical field and sciences, but what led her to her decision to become a chiropractor was a personal car accident. She suffered from a herniated disc while she attended college and the only relief she got was from a chiropractor. Nicole credits her father for her strong work ethic and her mother for teaching her the value of education. She resides in Laughlin with her husband, attorney Jared Ferentino, and son, Dominic. Nicole Linsky Ferentino, D.C. Melanie Ferris. Melanie Ferris is an adult basic education GED instructor at Luzerne County Community College. She has a bachelor's in psychology, certification in elementary education and special education, and a master's in education in reading and literacy from Walden University in Maryland. Melanie works for the examiner as an educational journalist and writes articles on parenting in the elementary years. She also organizes donation sites throughout the world and book drives for needy families. Melanie comes from a rather large family with seven sisters and two brothers, making it a total of 10. Melanie Ferris. Michael Finarelli. Michael Finarelli is the CFO at Ethos Gen. He is a 1998 graduate of Bishop O'Reilly and a graduate of King's College with a degree in international business. He received his master's degree in finance from the University of Baltimore. Michael enjoys traveling with his family and volunteering at the Gate of Heaven annual bazaar. Michael and his family have been a spokesfamily for John Hines Institute of Rehabilitation Medicine and Stroke Rehabilitation Health Services. In 2008, they spoke at the Anne Arundel Medical Center Foundation Gala in Baltimore, Maryland. The gala raised more than $720,000 to help stroke patients. Michael currently resides in Dallas with his wife Elizabeth and son Michael Jr. Michael Finarelli. R. Clements Gover. R. Clements Gover is a financial advisor for Wells Fargo Advisors, LLC. He earned his degree in business and economics from Muhlenberg College in Allentown, Pennsylvania where he went on an ROTC scholarship. Clem served four years in the U.S. military, including two tours in Iraq with the third ID. Clem recently served as co-chair for the American Heart Association's Heart Ball Auction Committee and spoke at the Wyoming Memorial Day Parade in 2010. He is an active member of the Westmoreland Club in Wilkes-Barre and enjoys golfing and traveling. Clem resides in Lehman Township with his wife, Joanna, and daughter, Layla. R. Clements Gover. Chadwick A.J. Hosnick. Chadwick A.J. Hosnick 
is the program director, afternoon show host for WBHT-FM, WBHD-FM, Citadel Broadcasting Corporation. He insisted on shadowing professionals in the field to gain as much experience as he could. In Chadwick's senior year of high school, he became a full-time overnight radio announcer for 97 BHT. His talent did not go unnoticed, and almost one year later, they moved him to afternoons. In 2001, the Jen and AJ Morning Show made its debut on 97 BHT, and soon after, he became music director and assistant program director. Chadwick AJ Hosnick. Michael J. Karkutsky. Michael J. Karkutsky is the principal at the Quandell Group Incorporated and is certified as a certified construction manager by the Construction Manager Certification Institute. He attended Temple University for Civil Engineering Technology. He is a graduate of Leadership Lackawanna 2010 and was part of the team that developed the Lackawanna Heritage Explorer Bike Tour an annual family-friendly event held in the summer. Michael is part of the Ambassadors Program for the Scranton Chamber of Commerce. He resides in Harding with his wife Andrea and two children. Michael J. Karkutsky. Mark Kischel. Mark Kischel is a user interface developer for Optimo Information Technology. Mark developed the Blue Cross of Northeastern Pennsylvania's weight loss initiative, Million Pound Meltdown, in 2005, along with developing an online donation application for the United Way of Wyoming Valley in 2006. He helped to start Power in 2001 by designing the original website. Mark was instrumental in the design and programming of the Mohegan Sun Arena at Casey Plaza website. Mark attended Scranton Central High School and is studying at the University of Phoenix to earn his bachelor's in information technology. In his free time, Mark enjoys playing the drums. Mark Kischel. Chris Kostelnik. Chris Kostelnik earned a bachelor's and MBA from Kent State University and was one of the youngest executives to become promoted to store manager. At age 22, he was Kaufman's student executive trainee and later Kaufman's area sales manager. At age 24, he was Kaufman's divisional sales manager, assistant store manager, and at age 25 was Kaufman's Macy's Vice President Store Manager. Chris is involved in the Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Bridge program and has a little brother he mentors. He is involved with the March of Dimes, volunteers at the soup kitchen, and encourages his team of employees to get involved. Every holiday he helps local agencies by setting up an angel tree in the store to help those most in need. Chris Kostelnik. Eric Manassi. Eric Manassi is the IT Business Relationship Manager for Mercy Health Partners and President and CEO of Manassi Media LLC. Eric went to King's College and earned a degree in Computer and Information Systems. His list of achievements include his development of Jets Twit, where he covers social media and its impact on the NFL. Jets Twit is a combination of his two favorite things, social media and his self-proclaimed title as a die-hard Jets fan. He had the opportunity to meet the president of the New York Jets through his social media creation and received box seats for a game. Eric Manassi. Luke Matthews. Luke Matthews is Executive Vice President for Gavlek Personnel and Director of Power. 
professionals organized and working to enrich the region, Wilkes-Barre Chapter. He attended Bishop Hoban High School and the Valley Forge Military Academy in Wayne, Pennsylvania. Luke is a King's College graduate where he studied finance. Luke was mayor for the Warrior-run borough from May 2007 to December 2009. Some of his community involvement includes the Make-A-Wish Wine and Wishes Committee. He is an avid golfer and is married to his wife, Carrie, and has five children, Vinnie, Emily, Lily, Sammy, and Ruby. Luke Matthews. Therese Maxfield. Therese Maxfield is Program Assistant and Communication and Development Coordinator for Leadership Wilkes-Barre. She attended Pennsylvania State University and earned her degree in Business Marketing Management. Therese is committed to developing future community leaders. She served as the Marketing Director for Power, Professionals Organized and Working to Enrich the Region, and was the former regional director at the Northeastern Pennsylvania Technology Institute. Teresa left the area to pursue a position at a career service specialist with ITT Technical Institute in South Carolina, but brought back her high energy and work ethic to Northeastern Pennsylvania to serve her community. Therese Maxfield. James McCabe. James McCabe is co-founder and producer of Fantasy Cam Productions, as well as an English professor at Penn State University Wilkes-Barre and Misericordia University. He holds a master's in creative writing from Wilkes University with a focus in screenwriting. James wrote the first feature, the controversial, Long Loss, while studying under David Curran. James later collaborated with Joe Bamba to work on several projects, and in 2009, they were a semi-finalist duo in the Creative Screenwriting Cyberspace Open Contest. In 2010, they co-directed the short film, There is a Light That Never Goes Out. His latest project is The Coxton Campaign, a lighthearted mock documentary. James McCabe. Eric O'Day. Eric O'Day is a social studies teacher and cross country coach at E.L. Myers High School. He is passionate about world travel and bringing back cultural experiences to his classroom. He has been to over 30 countries, including Cambodia, Syria, and Costa Rica. He has a high appreciation for diversity in cultures and observing human interaction, which he translates to his students through his strong storytelling abilities. Outside the classroom, Eric has resurrected a once dismantled Myers High School cross-country program. He has successfully restored its competitive status. Eric O'Day. Michael A. O'Donnell, Esquire. Michael A. O'Donnell, Esquire, is an attorney at O'Donnell Law Offices. He attended Bloomsburg University and the Pennsylvania State University Dickinson School of Law. His practice areas include personal injury, products liability, premises liability, social security disability, workers' compensation, and trucking litigation. Michael is also a member of the Power Wilkes-Barre chapter and a past graduate of the Wilkes-Barre Leadership Class of 2010. He was recently named to the Junior Leadership Wilkes-Barre Advisory Board. Michael values the uniqueness of Northeastern Pennsylvania's tight-knit community and likes he can drive 15 minutes in one direction to experience rural life and 15 minutes in the other to experience city life. Michael A. O'Donnell, Esquire. John William Pollard. John William Pollard is an elementary principal 
for both 10th Street Elementary and JFK Elementary Schools in the Wyoming Area School District. He is an educator and one of the youngest principals in the state. Currently, he is a doctoral candidate at Wilkes University, invited by Mensa as a result of his postgraduate entrance exam scores. He is married with a one-year-old son and has another on the way in June. John William Pollard Pat Rogan Pat Rogan was elected as one of the youngest members of the Scranton City Council in November 2007. His graduation date will be May 2011 from the University of Scranton with a bachelor's in political science. One of Pat's accomplishments was receiving over 8,900 votes in the November 2009 election. He was the chairperson for the Economic and Community Development Committee and works with many neighborhood groups and individual residents to solve governmental problems. He is also an active volunteer in national, state, and local Republican campaigns. Pat Rogan Matt Rogers, Esquire Matt Rogers, Esquire is an associate attorney for Rosen, Jenkins & Greenwald, LLP. He attended Hanover College and Washington University School of Law in St. Louis, Missouri. Matt is a patent, trademark, and intellectual property lawyer with expertise assisting clients in securing patent, trademark, and copyright protection for their intellectual property. He is a member of Power Wilkes-Barre Chapter and the Leadership Wilkes-Barre Class of 2011. Matt enjoys the Northeastern Pennsylvania Philharmonic and the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. He resides in Kingston with his wife Melanie and newborn son Thomas Henderson. Matt Rogers, Esquire. Lindo Sabatini. Lindo Sabatini is the president of Sabatini's Pizza in Exeter. It is a family-owned pizza restaurant and has been in business since 1958, originally owned by his grandfather and father. Lindo took ownership of the restaurant in 2005. He is a graduate of Wyoming Seminary Upper School and Cabrini College. Not only does he run and operate the pizza business, he also owns and manages real estate properties in the area. Lindo says he works close to 90 hours a week. If I stop, I lose my balance, he states. He is married and a father of two. Lindo Sabatini. Salvatore L. Schiandra. Salvatore L. Schiandra is the Director of Integrations of SK Technology Group Incorporated. Salvatore is a graduate of Villanova University with a degree in electrical engineering. He is an entrepreneur and small business owner. His first job was as a valet for Celestino Restaurant in DuPont. Salvatore is most proud of his father, who in his mid-50s enrolled and later graduated from Luzerne County Community College. Salvatore likes the four seasons of northeastern Pennsylvania, the history and the roots of the area. He is an active member of St. Maria Goretti Church in Laughlin and is the father of two children. Salvatore L. Schiandra. Jason Sherrill. Jason Sherrill graduated from Wyoming Valley West and went on to earn an associate's degree in automotive from Luzerne County Community College. He has been named the number one Kia technician in the world at the World Skills Finals in Seoul, South Korea, 2010. After an intense competition with a 40-minute time limit to diagnose and fix problems from engine repair to troubleshooting electronics, he was selected the winner and received a gold medal, trophy, and cash prize. 
At the end of June, he will compete for Subaru of America in a technical competition in Denver, Colorado. Jason Sherrill. Jackie Soper. Jackie Soper is a stay-at-home, never bored mom and wife. She graduated from Brown College in court reporting and medical transcription. Some of Jackie's community involvement includes the Domestic Violence Service Center, the CYC, Make-A-Wish, the American Cancer Society's Ball of Hope, the Parents Association for Wyoming Seminary, a cantor, director of bell choir, and wedding coordinator for Gate Heaven Church, as well as a member of Changing Habits. She is a member of the Unified Fighting Arts Association, studying martial arts under Master Richard Dixon, and teaches self-defense classes to women. Jackie Soper. Michael Trudnick. Michael Trudnick is the Director of Corporate Partnerships for the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Yankees. He holds a Bachelor's in Sports Management and a minor in Marketing from College Misericordia. Michael was a three-year captain of the track and field team while in college. In 2003, he joined the Scranton Wilkes-Barre franchise as Promotions Director for the Red Barons and also served as an Account Executive. An avid Penn State and Philadelphia Eagles fan, Michael not only enjoys watching the sport, but he also enjoys playing flag football. Another passion of Michael's, reality television. Michael Trudnick. Brian M. Vinsco, Esquire. Brian M. Vinsco, Esquire is an attorney at Vinsco & Associates PC. Brian is a graduate of South Texas College of Law in Houston, Texas. Brian is dedicated to helping his alma mater, King's College, where he earned a bachelor's in history. He was named chair of the King's College Casino Night in 2007 and has participated in the King's College Phonathon for many years. More recently, in 2010, he was named the chair of the King's College Capital Campaign. Brian is also a co-founder of VProp, a real estate rehabilitation company which has bought and renovated three buildings in the south end of Wilkes-Barre. Brian M. Vinsco, Esquire. Robert Williams. Robert Williams is the Assistant Director for the Center of Economic and Entrepreneurship Education for Misericordia University. He has a Bachelor's in Political Science from Williams College in Williamstown, Massachusetts, and a Master's in Nonprofit Administration from Audrey Cohen College in New York City, and an Accounting Certificate from New York University. He owned and operated Lox LLC, a bath and body retail business in Lafayette, New York and Milford, Pennsylvania. Robert is a part of the Ann Street School Board of Directors, the Milford Business Council, and the Pike County Chamber of Commerce. Robert is married to Mary Hinton, Ph.D., and is a father of three. Robert Williams. Carmen Winters. Carmen Winters is the Director of Marketing at the NEPA Technology Group. He earned his degree from Wilkes University in Business Administration with a concentration in Marketing. Carmen has an assorted and interesting blend of roles beyond NEPA Technology Group. He is co-owner of Campus Revitalization LLC, a progressive new company in Northeastern Pennsylvania whose focus is on targeting investments within emerging or expanding college real estate markets. He is the Director of Sales and Marketing at Instructors Network Incorporated and an Independent Associate at Viridian Energy. Carmen Winters. These are your 2011 40 Under 40 nominees.